What is going on everybody? My name is Jacked Out, and uh, this is like, I mean, a normal YouTube video, I guess, but it's not the kind of, you know, usual outside mobbing around. Uh, that'll all be in tomorrow's video. I am still filming a normal, I, I mean, this is a normal video too, but I'm still filming like a normal, you know, out there scooter riding video. You get the point, you get the point. Basically, um, today this video is so unprepared, so not planned, and I'm not just saying that because it is extremely planned, it's, it's, it's literally not planned. Uh, I was just across the road at the cafe, and uh, on my way back inside, there was this box right here. And I was like, sweet, it's probably from Urban Art, or it's probably from Outset Select. I'll just open this in, um, in the vlog that I'm making today sweet, it'll be like, you know, a great way to start off the vlog, new parts, or, I don't know, something that I can give away to you guys, uh, and then, I was honestly curious, I thought maybe it was sent to the wrong person, because it was sent from a really super random location, and, uh, it was addressed to me, but I hadn't asked my sponsors for anything, I, they didn't tell me anything was on its way, so I was like, I'll have a quick peep inside, you know, just like to, like, so I don't waste any time on the vlog opening it up if it was, like, not supposed to be addressed to me, or, like, I don't know, just, just something like that, basically, long story short, I was not expecting anything in the mail, so I quickly peeped inside, and, uh, I saw a box, there was like a lot of foam and I saw a box and it said YouTube on it and like my heart just honestly sank and it said Jack Doubt uh, on the on, 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 on the side of the box and I instantly knew this. I mean, I, I'm really hoping, that I, I, like all this talking could be a big waste of time right now if it's not what I'm thinking it is, but as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I mean, I'm hoping if it does end up to be my YouTube play button, then I mean, that's what it is. I'm so hoping it is and I've actually been meaning to make a video like this for a while. I was planning on making it on the 18th or the 17th of September because, I mean, if I make a video on the 17th, it'll be up on the 18th, and uh, the 18th of September was actually the first day I ever uploaded a vlog last year. I was so nervous, and I'm gonna go into up, like uploading my first vlog and how I got to where I am on YouTube today in under a year, uh, just after I unbox this package. But basically, today's just gonna be a thank you video. If you're not interested in this and you're a subscriber, that kind of sucks because I really, really, really would appreciate it if you just stuck around and listened to everything I say. Because there's, you know, there's some cool stuff, and I hope I can inspire you to do the same on YouTube. You know what I mean? Because I like literally like everything that's happened in the past, you know, eight, nine, ten, eleven months has just changed my life so much for the better like it's it's absolutely insane so this is a super unprepared it's gonna be a super raw video but basically i'm gonna open up that package for you guys first and then i'm gonna speak to you guys about how i pretty much earned this package so uh, the camera's going to my window so by the way beautiful day beautiful day i'm still making a normal scooter vlog today on this beautiful day uh which will be tomorrow's video but for now we're opening that package Okay, here is the box. Um, so basically, I mean, yeah, I just saw it was addressed to me and it was from a random location in China and uh, I just really did not expect. I mean, the YouTube play button was the last thing on my mind. When I hit 100,000 subscribers, I applied for the YouTube play button and I hit 100k only like a few months ago. I think it was uh, March, April. I think it was the uh, early April, I think it was. So April, May, June, July, August. So it's only been like four months. Anyway, straight to the point. Uh, I opened it up and I saw that there was foam in here. I feel like I could do something really creative and cool with this foam because it's like super neat cut so I'm actually gonna put that to the side and keep that for when I try and do something cool with my room like the fan art wall and all that so we got foam we got foam and then uh, what I saw next was uh, the YouTube logo is like in there and I saw the YouTube logo and my heart just sank like I honestly got this crazy feeling of just like hard work has paid off my kind of recognition for it I guess from YouTube and I'm feeling the raw emotions now I mean not that it's a big deal I kind of I mean I was expecting this but it still means a lot to me and I'm making the video now just because it's it's, it's a lot more real and it just feels a lot more kind of fresh to me, like this whole, this whole feeling. So, the cardboard box is going to go back there. Check that out, YouTube. Something that has changed my life in the past year and I'm going to go into detail about that very, very soon. Thank God they spelled my name correctly. I've actually seen YouTubers who are uh, last names they've spelled wrong. It says silver on there. So, for all I know, this could not be the play button. I mean, by the thumbnail, you know by now, but as I'm talking right now, this might not be the play button, but I'm really, really hoping it is. Three, big deal for me. Two, one. Oh, it's just a piece of paper. Damn it. Alright, so I got this letter right here from YouTube. Uh, it's probably the same letter that every YouTuber receives that hits 100k. But, I'm gonna read it for you guys. You've done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired challenged or entertained and that's literally what I want this channel to like I sp like even just a couple of vlogs ago I spoke about trying to inspire you guys I want to I want to inspire you guys challenge and entertain you guys that's what that's literally what my channel is all about. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for awards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you've found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think. And we're rooting for you. Congratulations, yours sincerely, Susan. What? 
Wudge. Wudge. See, this is where I ruined the moment. You try to pronounce that yourself. Alright, it's not my fault that she has a last name like that. Sorry, Susan, but if you're watching this, Susan Wojciki, Wojciki, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your last name, but I, so much, and, oh, she's the CEO of YouTube, so she might be watching this right now. Honestly, like, that means a lot, me reading that, I've seen other YouTubers read out at, um, that letter, I don't know if they pronounced her last name correctly, I personally just, I, I, I dropped out of school, like, hey, I'll go into that a little bit later as well. Right here, we have the play button. This is my first time ever seeing a play button in real life of any sort, apart from the logo on YouTube. Shut up, Jack, just stop ruining the moment. Okay, three, two, one. I thought it would have been bigger. Joking, I'm joking. Okay, okay. This is a big deal right here. How do I get this out without breaking it? Oh, it's already framed and everything? Oh, okay. 100,000 subscribers. It's already framed. I can hang it up on my wall. I did it. I did it. I mean, I did it like four months ago, but like, the, like, you know, I'm getting the recognition for it from YouTube. Jack Dow, congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Silver play button. I never thought in my life, never thought in my life I would receive this play button. That is absolutely insane. I'm going to put this to the side, guys. You can see right there. Jack Dow received his 100,000 subscriber play button. Now, this isn't necessarily, like, this video isn't really about 100K. I just thought I'd do it now while I received, you know, this recognition from YouTube. This is really, uh, you know what, this is what the phone can be for. Oh, that's cushioning. Basically, I just want to say thank you to every single person for subscribing to my channel. Whether you've been here since September 18th last year, or you've been here since yesterday, the fact that you have subscribed to my channel means everything to me. Like, the, I just... It's funny because, like, like I've always watched YouTube videos, like, well before I started YouTube videos, and I guess, like, I've always been too scared to start, like, the more vlog-style format video, you know what I mean? Like, of course, I filmed, like, video parts and all that, but I've always been, you know, too scared of what people would think of making vlogs, you know, before September last year. And my first vlog, I don't know if I've mentioned this before in, in, um, in videos, but I made my first vlog, and I edited it, I uploaded it, I was, like, I'd never been so excited about something since I started scooter riding. I'd never felt that excitement and that, like, that hype to do something for so long until I started vlogging. And, and the second I started vlogging, it was just so enjoyable because I felt like vloggers that I looked up to. Like, as soon as I got my first vlog camera, and like I started off on a 60D with a fisheye that as soon as I got my first like long lens vlog camera I just felt so professional looking into it. I just remember the feeling like youtubers that I looked up to like Casey Neistat, Billy Perry, Austin Augie Like I just felt just like them and it was so cool being able to look up to people and be inspired by people And now I can do the same for you guys having a following myself I made my first vlog I edited it I uploaded it to YouTube and it was on private for a very 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 long time I think two weeks to a month at most and I was I just kept watching it back You know like are people gonna kind of laugh at me for this you know this and that and then I uh, yeah, I, I, I was just so scared to release it, and uh, then I linked it to Tommy, who actually owns Outset, which is funny, because now I ride for Outset today. And I, I, I linked it to Tommy, because he made a vlog at the time, and um, I said, yo, like, I saw you made a vlog, and, you know, being street riders, I guess it was more scary coming out with a vlog, just because it's looked down upon, I guess, in street riding for some weird reason. And I linked it to Tommy, and I was like, yo, I saw you brought out a vlog, like, what do you think of mine? And he said, dude, release it, release it, and I'm pretty sure it was the next day I like, put it out in public, and it was okay, like, I didn't get much negative backlash, it was, like, it, it was all pretty positive, some people made jokes, and, you know, I had the comment here, and they're like, oh, please don't start vlogging, but I really enjoyed it, and I kept going, and then uh, I met this whole new bunch, I mean, I, I knew them in the past, but I never really rode with them much, I met, you know, uh, I, I started riding with Wesma, and Kai, and Dunk, and, um, and Archie, and Benny, and Clam, and Chi, who, I mean, a lot of those guys don't st ride today, but I met all those guys, and they started featuring in my vlogs, and, like, I was working at Toys R Us at the time, and I remember, this was towards the end of December, uh, I had a goal to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of last year, and 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I remember thinking, like, I've got to hit this 5k, I've got to hit this 5k, and it wasn't on my mind too much, I was so distracted by making, like, cool videos that I was, wasn't, like, I, I was looking at my sub count, but not much until I started to really, I guess, blow up. So, Wes Kai, Dunk, like, all these guys were going to Canberra for the weekend, Canberra's like a three-hour drive from Sydney, which is where I live, where I'm sitting right now, and uh, I was was working at Toys R Us at the time when I started vlogging, so I was only able to make like tutorials and a vlog like maybe every now and then when I wasn't working. Not that I was working much, but it did definitely take up time. I remember uh, they were all going to Canberra on the weekend, and I worked on the weekends, and I was like, oh, I really, 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 really want to come, and I was getting my new G7X camera the day
day before they were all leaving, and I was like, this would be perfect. Quit my job, get my G7X, and just go to Canberra. And I literally did that. I feel bad. I never left the job properly. I just never turned up to Toys R Us again, and I think they were pretty mad. But I got my new camera. I booked a bus to Canberra, and that next morning, I was on a bus with Clam to Canberra. And that was around the time I started blowing up, because I remember on the way to Canberra, it was that vlog where I said, guys, I just woke up. I hit 12K, 13K, and 14K. Like, I went up like 3,000 in a night, which is more than I'm going up now. Like, that was when my channel was blowing up. Then I made some awesome videos in Canberra with the whole crew, and then I got back, and I kept going, and it was like late December, early... J I, I, I remember, like, the 20th of December, there were 10 days left in December, and I still wasn't at 5K. I really, really, really wanted to hit 5K, I'm pretty sure. And then somehow I ended up hitting 30,000 by the 1st of January. Then, by mid-January, I was on 60,000. Then it doubled again a few months later, and, like, I got so much hate for it when I started. Like, I lost friends over it. It was, like, you know, I just, I, I lost respect, but, like, as I was growing this, like, fan base, I knew that there were people who, the fans outdid the haters, for sure. There were so many more fans than there were haters, and, like, I just persisted, and honestly, this has taught me so much in life. Like, it, it sounds silly, but, like, Persisting with something while you're getting hate is, is gonna help me for years and years down the track with anything I do. Like, like a anytime someone hates, like, this is the way I think about it. Anytime someone hates on you, it's just a reminder that you're going to be successful. And that just obviously doesn't apply for me. I'm not trying to sound cocky here. That applies for you. That applies for anyone. Anytime you're getting hated on something or, you know, doing something that you have, a, like, a big passion for, just tell yourself, they're just reminding you that you're gonna be successful. They're just not using the same words. And, like, I probably have people laughing at me right now, but that's absolutely okay because you're watching my video. Literally over a year ago, I was just your average scooter kid, and, and now and now a year later, I've, I've earned this. And I mean, I did hit 100k four months ago. It did take a while for it to turn up, but as I said, I just wanted to make this video right now, thanking you guys for this, and I just wanna let you know that anyone can do the same. Like, it's a lot of hard work, but anyone can literally do it. Go pick up a camera, go make vlogs, don't be embarrassed, and if you ever see me around and, 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 and you're making a vlog, come up to me with your camera, say, yo, I just ran into Jack I'm like, I'm so accepting of anyone doing anything they want. My original goal by the end of this year, was was that. That was my original goal by the end of this year. I wanted to hit 20,000. And now my new goal, that's my new goal, 200. 200 K here we come but here's to 100,000 subscribers let me know in the comment section below if you subscribed before I hit 100 K let me know in the comment section below if you're a part of this play button because every single one of your names should be up on this play button too because you are the ones that helped me get here and I want to continue to bring these awesome street videos you know I had this idea before anyone else was doing the whole street riding kind of vlog GoPro whole thing you know in the streets and like I had this idea I watched a lot of kind of BMX's and I said you know I want to bring this to scooting I want to be like the first skid rider that does it and I did it I had this vision and I got to where I am today and I want to just let you guys know that you guys can do it too so easily stop watching this video right now tune in for tomorrow but between ending this video and watching tomorrow pick up a camera pick up a phone go film something go get creative upload it to YouTube anyone can do it and I just basically pretty much this video was just me trying to inspire you guys to go and do the same and uh, just a massive thank you for everything this has changed my life I literally am a able to make YouTube videos every single day. Like a year ago, just over a year ago, I was a high school dropout. I had no idea where I, where I wanted to go. I was at the skate park all day. Uh, people thought I was just going to be at the skate park for the rest of my life, which actually maybe I could be. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, bro. Tomorrow will be a normal scooter vlog. I just really wanted to make this video while I was kind of, you know, fresh and just really feeling these stoked emotion so thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you understand this kind of sit down video uh tomorrow will be a normal scootering vlog as you can see beautiful weather uh that is when i'll see you all next thank you so much for watching guys if you're new to the channel obviously subscribe turn on post notifications do all that good stuff below today's post notification shout out goes to this dude right here if you want to get a shout out hashtag notification squad in the comment section below along with dropping a like on this video if you want to get 10 percent off any custom pro scooter parts at outsetselect.com which is my shop sponsor use the code savage a link to their website will be in the description below shout out to urban art shout out to ripper company for you know sponsoring me and and, and always helping me out you guys are all awesome my name is jack Dowd. thanks for watching peace